Hello guys, today we have another product here from IC Station. Today it's this little LED strip and it's a little 8-bit strip that we can use to diagnose the outputs on our uh, Arduinos or our different microcontrollers. So we can just hook up this little strip, make sure that we connect the 1 to 8 to the 0 to 7 output on our uh, microcontroller and then we can see exactly what's happening. So in this video I'm going to show you how to use it. So you can see here they've gave us a little connection here that we can uh, wire in a 2.54mm header into and they give us the labels on the back here to tell us exactly what each pin leads to. So we have no connection there, it's probably a ground plane. The positive voltage is uh, highlighted and the rest of them are the D1 to D8 so they're diode 1 to diode 8. So this would uh, imply that we have to give it a positive voltage and then sync the pin here. You'd also do something similar if you were uh, using NPN transistors. So you you have to use an NPN transistor if you wanted to switch these uh, using a transistor, which we'll see now. Hopefully, uh, the resistors uh, reduce the current enough that you don't need a transistor. But we'll take a look and see. Okay, so hopefully you can see the uh, screen here pretty clear. We're in uh, the milliamp range here. I suspect that this is going to be, uh, well, I think that's a 1000 uh, ohm resistor, so I'm pretty sure it's going to be very, very low current. But just to be on the safe side, we'll give it a, a measurement here. So let me see, I don't know what light this is going to be. There we go. So that's D8 has lit up there, I think you can see. And it says 0.1, so let's go down our range here. We want to, we could probably go another range, it's fairly small. So that is 123 microamps. So as you can imagine, that is definitely not going to do any harm to our microcontroller and that is the point of this little uh, test board here you can safely use this on pretty much any microcontroller and you can very clearly see which outputs you're turning on and off so i think i'll solder in a little header here and i'll give you an example of how you might use something like this in case anyone is interested here's one i made uh, a couple of years ago uh, i had a lot of these kind of rectangular LEDs so I hooked them up with a few resistors and basically made it exactly the same thing as we have here it's just LEDs and resistors actually even the same colored or green LEDs on this as well uh, you can see here today I never actually finished it I didn't do the whole uh, thing I only put four pins down here's another example that I did I uh, used uh, yellow LEDs this time I have all the rows here, but I, I put a few switches in there as well and a resistor. So this kind of thing uh, is what people usually use to uh, test out little projects with their Arduinos and their other little microcontroller projects. So it, it's not a new idea, but it's nice to have it in this little easy to use package. It would have taken me quite a while to make this up and here's one just ready to go. Okay, so we have our little board here. I've added the header, then I've made a couple of these little jumper wires. Uh, they're DuPont connectors, so the female ones on one side and the male ones on the other. And they're just going to connect in like this. Very simple. And now we have our little connectors that we can hook up into our microcontroller. So I'll get a few microcontrollers and just show you what I mean. So here's a little microcontroller to give you an example of how you might use this. So I have my little board here that I uh, designed years and years ago. It's kind of like a microchip pick version of an Arduino. So uh, all you do is you have all your power lines, same as your Arduino. So we have positive voltage is our white wire. So we get the white wire, stick it into the 5 volts. And then we just take the rest of our wires here to our for our um, LEDs. And say we wanted to check port A. I have port A along here. So that will be port A0 to port A7 so I could just take all the pins and put D1234 and have each output here 
equivalent to a number here so 0 would be 1 port a 0 would be 1 port a 1 would be 2 so it would go like that and you'd be able to put that whole port on the lights here so I could see exactly what's happening on port A just by uh, connecting it up or if I knew I was only using port A0 and maybe I'm using uh, port B1 and port C4 then I can just hook up the wires I want and once I know which one is connected to which I can see exactly what's happening and the same is true with an Arduino so let's say I took this controller here and on my controller I have my outputs here that would go to my my um, a TFT screen so let's say I wanted to check the few pins I'd just get the positive 5 volts wherever it is I don't know where it is or the 3.3 .3, whatever it is so there'll be one there somewhere and then I want to check a few pins I just stick in the wires whichever pins I want to see and I should see them light up here on the uh, on the little LEDs here just to give me an indication that these pins are actually being used you could do the same with the NRF if you thought maybe your um, your microcontroller wasn't sending any signal you could hook up to those pins or your XB pins and just see what's happening that's that's what this is that's what this is designed to do so just as an example here I've hooked up the connection into the NRF uh, 24 slot on the controller here and when we flick it on we should see the microcontroller try to communicate with the uh, NRF which we have simulated here with the LEDs so you can see we turn it on I'm not sure if you've seen but one of these lights here flashes very quickly I think it's D8 yeah so D8 flashes very quickly so that's probably the working controller trying to send data to the uh, to the NRF D5 and D1 they could possibly be inputs and that might be why they are high all the time but uh, I'm not 100% certain exactly how the uh, NRF24 communicates here's an example of how you might use the uh, little board with the LEDs here I have the uh, pins for each of the LEDs hooked up to this port here on the Arduino well on an Arduino it's not really a port it's um, a group of ports it's, all the pins are mixed up so it's just digital output 0 to 7 I have them hooked into here and they are 0 is going to be D1 and 7 is going to be D8 and I just have a little sequence here so I can see that all my outputs are working so you can see we're just running through the outputs there from 0 up to 7 or diode 1 to diode 8 as it is on the little board there and that's just to give you an example of what you'd be using it for you just use it to test that your outputs are actually working so if you're looking for something like this you can follow the link in the description over to IC station and you'll be able to pick one up for yourself and uh, I'd encourage you to make little boards like this little boards with switches and all these kind of things they come in very handy when you're trying to uh, test your programs if uh, instead of having to have the final device built if you can just have some LEDs to uh, show you what your outputs are going to do and some switches to simulate your inputs then uh, you can very easily see if your program is going to work or not so thanks to IC station for sending in the little product here to uh, take a look at and uh, like I said uh, check out the link in the description if you want to pick one up for yourself and if you like the video make sure and hit the thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you use something like this yourself for uh, doing your tests or you've made up your own little boards uh, let us all know could give us uh, a few different ideas of what we can uh, set up to test our own uh, programs. So I think that's uh, all I wanted to cover in this video so thanks very much for watching. Mm -hmm.